Action 10 Chief Meteorologist Sharon Ray with your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Well, believe it or not, we did have a cold front go through, certainly not much cold air with it, but it did bring the heat and humidity down a little bit today, and that front is to the south of us. And right now, yeah, it's still hot out there, but not record-breaking today. In fact, we're sitting at 90 at the Naval Air Station, and Port Aransas, kind of hot out there, 90 degrees. Alice at 91 and Robstown, 90. Uh, Kingsville cooled down a little bit. We had some thunderstorms in central Clayburg County that brought that cooler air down to the surface. And right now the heat index, notice they're hovering in the 90s to near 100 right now. Quite a difference from what we were talking about late last week, isn't it? All right, on Doppler radar, we've had a few showers and a couple thunderstorms out there. Not a lot, but this cluster here has been continuing to push south from Clayburg County. Uh, right now, I want you to notice right here, you see this little line? That's an outflow boundary from these thunderstorms. The surface of the air comes down out of the thunderstorms. It rushes along the ground and it pushes forward. And as it does, it can actually cause other showers to form along that boundary. And you can see right here, see that one that popped up? They don't usually last very long, but that one was caused by that in that, on that uh, very warm, humid air. So right now, certainly not a lot out there. As we look at the forecast model for tonight, you can see that it does show through uh, about 9, 10 o'clock tonight, still a few showers and storms popping up, not too many. Uh, and I don't expect anything severe with these, but some decent downpours, and they'd be very short-lived as we go through the overnight hours. Those will taper off to just a couple of showers here and there. But we'll have mostly cloudy skies tonight. You'll notice the clouds as we we start the day tomorrow and temperatures well not too warm tonight we're going to drop into the low to mid 70s uh, inland and upper 70s at the coast with 74 at corpus christi tonight thanks to a north breeze that's nice, isn't it? Up to 12 miles an hour. And that north breeze tomorrow will continue, starting to shift around to the east by the afternoon. It's fairly light tomorrow, and temperatures stay mainly in the 80s to near 90 for highs. We do have a slight thunderstorm chance. This is what it's going to feel like. Those feels like temperatures or heat indices stay in the 90s tomorrow. Forecast highs for the coastal bend for your Tuesday. Now notice the average high this time of year is 91. So we're actually going to be a little bit below average tomorrow, right around 89 Corpus Christi, upper 80s to near 90 inland and at the beaches, mid 80s tomorrow. And at the beaches, we're looking at two to three foot waves. The water temperature, it's at 87 at Port Aransas and 88 degrees at Bob Hall Pier. So it is warm out there and we'll see some sunshine at the beaches, mainly in the afternoon tomorrow. So as I mentioned, we still have some moisture lingering behind this front that's going to give us a chance of a shower or a thunderstorm, not only tonight, but again, Again, tomorrow we could have a couple pop up as well as Wednesday more isolated. The northeast winds that are bringing down our humidity a little bit are going to be shifting later this week. And we watch the dew points for this. This is the dew point tracker. And remember, when we talk about dew points, it's like humidity. The lower these numbers, the better it's going to feel. But notice as I put this into motion, these stay right around 70, even some upper 60s. Not bad for this time of year, but those are going to start climbing. You see the wind shifting to the south by Friday and into Saturday. Those dew points will climb, and that's going to bring those temperatures up. So with that, the wind is going to pick up too. And this weekend, we'll see winds gusting as high as 30 miles an hour. Here is your seven-day forecast then with temperatures staying closer to normal through the middle of the week. We still have an isolated storm chance Wednesday and then we're dry for the rest of the week, but temperatures start to climb. Nights warm up back into the upper 70s to near 80 and those heat indices, those start to climb. If you wonder what the heat index is and why it has an effect on you, uh, we're going to toss it out to Cole Vaughn. Now he's live at Cole Park and Cole is going to explain why the heat index is important and why it's so hard to cool down in it. Cole? 